Hi, my name is Mei Fang. Currently, I'm 11 years old, and right now I'm at the sixth grade, and I go to school at Shine School Sorong. And today, for my English vlog, I will be making a tutorial on how to portray and how to paint. So first, I'm going to be showing you things that you need. So let's not waste any more time and get to it. First, you'll be needing some crochet hooks. For now, I'll be using the 5ml hook. And you'll be needing some yarn. And for painting, you need paint brushes and of course, the paint. Please do not forget this. Hi guys! Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a duck pouch. Reminder, this is not for beginners. Create a magic ring first. Then chain two and then create 12 double crochets inside. When you're done, it should look like this. To complete the circle's connection, slip stitch. For round two, you will have to chain two. Then make double crochet increase, which means two double crochets in one stitch. And in the next stitch, make one double crochet. And then continue with the double crochet increase and double crochet pattern with the entire circle has been worked in. Then slip stitch to complete round 2. For round 3, chain 2 and make double crochet increases around the entire circle. Then slip stitch to finish round 3. Once round 3 is completed, make the cheek pattern which will be on the screen for round 4. Once you're done, make one more and crochet the eyes and the beak. Here I'm swinging them, but if you want to glue them too, that's fine. Once you're done, you're going to put both of the pieces together like this. Then make a slip stitch and save that for later. Then you're going to take your hook and put them through both of the faces. Then you're going to slip stitch on the hook and make slip stitches throughout all of the circle. But make an opening in the middle for your stuff. Then you're going to slip stitch in the front and chain 50. Once you've chained 50, slip stitch in the same stitch. Then repeat, but with only 7 chains in the back. This is the finished product. I'm gonna store my cherry lip balm and my pink Vaseline inside. Thanks to this duck pouch, my lips won't ever be dry again. So now, in this clip, I'm crocheting something. Can you guess what I'm crocheting before the timer runs out? you guess the wallet, then you're right! You can store money and cards in the wallet. And I also made a pom purine plushie, a Miffy plushie, a bear plushie, and a Hello Kitty one. And this cute little heart pattern. And this book sleeve which you can store books in it. This cute little tote bag, and a cute little bucket hat. Okay, so for painting, these are all the ingredients that you need. First is a little bowl of water so that you can wash your paintbrushes so that they're clean. And speaking of paintbrushes, you'll also be needing some paintbrushes. And I have a lot of paintbrushes in different sizes, although I did end up only using one. But that's alright. And do not forget the paint. Paint is something that you need. And then here is where the actual fun starts to begin. In my opinion, I think that you should find a reference photo first, but if you want to draw anything that comes up to mind, that's okay too. It's called being creative. But as you can see here, I'm looking on Google. You can go in any social media platforms to find any reference photos. Usually, I look mine up on Google, Pinterest, or maybe even TikTok. Right now, I'm sketching the flower, and when you start painting, paint the stem of the flower, the flower, and then the vase. Then add the details. Here in this clip, I'm doing the base layer. This is one of the examples of making mistakes during painting. 
As you can see, I wanted to make a butterfly, but I made a mistake, so I thought of new ideas on how to fix it. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope you really enjoyed it. And thank you so much for taking out five whole minutes of your time just to watch me. I'll thank you so much for listening until the end. And I hope you will have a really nice and good day. Thank you for watching. Bye!